Uh, and then I saw Black Klansman. This I'm interested in because I've heard of the actual like the events it's based on. Yes, and it is such a fascinating thing. Yeah. So for anyone that isn't aware, it's based on oh, I can't remember where. Hang on, where's it set? Uh, it's set in Colorado. It's about uh, a guy called Ron Stalworth. Stalworth. I don't know how you say his name. I watched this movie like a week ago and I've already forgotten how you say his name. That's not a good sign. Okay. Uh, let's say Ron Stallworth. Uh, so he's, he's the first African-American police officer in Colorado. It's set in 1972, I want to say. Okay. Uh, it's set in the 70s. And he <coughs> somehow manages to infiltrate the, the Ku Klux Klan yep. via the phone. Then realises, hang on, I obviously can't go and meet these guys in person. Yep. What with me being an African American, so um, he gets a Jewish co-officer. Is that what they called? I don't know. Police officer. Just a, yeah, just a Jewish Jewish officer. Yeah, uh, in like the same sort of department uh, to go undercover, and all based on a true story. Yeah. So you've got Adam Driver who plays the the Jewish police officer, Flip Zimmerman. And you've got John David Washington, who is Denzel Washington's son. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't realise. No. Did not realise. Um, yeah, he plays Ron Stallworth, Stallworth, whatever it is. And then you've also got um, Topher Grace playing David Duke, the head of the Ku Klux Klan. Okay. Is it good? So it's directed by Spike Lee. And we went to see it with a, a Spike Lee Q&A afterwards. Oh yeah, I remember you saying in a chat. Yeah, have you seen anything of Spike Lee's before? Uh, at least what he's done. I know that he's fucking super famous. Yeah. What his? Um, so the, the more I think famous I he's done, do the right thing. Probably one of his more famous movies. Mm. Uh, Malcolm X. Mm. She's got to have it. Mm. Uh, those are like the the big big ones. He also directed the Old Boy remake. I haven't seen that either. No. Okay. I so maybe I haven't seen any Spike Lee stuff. I would recommend it, but he does do like they're not necessarily political, but he kind of I don't know he he tells African American stories. It's sort of what he's known for, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was watching this, and in the back of my mind, I was like, despite the fact that it's set in the seventies, it's just like devastating how relevant so much of this is. Yeah, is it that that kind of film where it's like, oh, look at us telling this story from the past? Wink, wink. Look at this. Yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's great. And there's there's moments of humour in it. And like the cast are all like so, so good. Uh, the soundtrack's brilliant. Um, just like the way it's all put together is just superb. And I, like, I'm, right, I've got to be really careful what I say. So I can't do spoilers. But something happens at the end. And you know how something like, like in the back of my mind, I was just like, oh, yeah, it's just disappointing. Something happens at the end, and it just hits so hard. The entire cinema was just, like, deathly quiet. And you're just left just kind of, like, pretty much shell-shocked. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And it's just, like, it's it's such an impressive feat of movie-making, I think. You know? Yeah. It's sort of like, in a very, very different way, but it's like Barefoot again, where it just leaves you thinking. Yeah, got you, got you. And also somewhat despairing. Yeah. Um, I don't really do like movie of the week, but if I did, this would be movie of the week. For someone that doesn't do movie of the week, you bring up what film would be your movie of the week quite a lot. Yeah, but I don't do it every week. <laughs> but mm, at the moment, I think you have done for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, I'd give it a four out of five. Um, I kind of want to see it again, but... Equally, like, I don't know if I can. Yeah, you, yeah. It, it was just, it was so good, though. Um, I, okay, I cool. think you should I was, go I see was it. thinking about going to see it, and I wasn't sure what your review was going to be. Because at the start of this, I thought you were going to review it badly. Because I can't remember what you said right at the beginning of this, but I was like, oh, I don't know if Liam enjoyed it. No, I, I really did enjoy it. Um, yeah. To the point where I think, I could be mistaken, but I think it's currently my second favourite film of the year. Oh, fair enough. Um, with only infinity war topping it and that was just like a different a very different form of enjoyment yeah yeah is that you done until we do our joint one 
Sorry, it's my third favourite. Mission Impossible Fallout came in second. Oh, okay. Cool. I just double check. Yeah. Um, yeah, that j- just honestly, I, I really want you to go see it. Okay, I'll, I'll try to, yeah. Good, okay. Yeah, that's me done. <laughs>